Good morning everyone. My name is Akesh Gupta and I'm with Lightspeed Solutions. Today in this presentation I will share with you how to integrate Earnspeed applications with Active Directory security. To begin with, let's look at a simple application. This is our CRM application that we have been working where right now we can log in. There's no security enabled. As you can see, there's no security sign-in tab and just sh does not show you who you are, how is it logged in and so on. And I can go into my accounts and so on. Uh, like for example, I can open up a record, I can edit a record, do whatever I want, everything basically will work. Let's just uh, see for a second. There you go. Apologize for the delay here, but uh, anyway, uh, going back to Iron Speed, so the very first thing we want to do is we want to basically enable Active Directory Security. For that, we will go to Application Security Wizard enable Microsoft Active Directory for user authentication as well as Microsoft Active Directory groups for user authorization for the various kind of roles. Click Next, system will automatically pick up the DC that's basically you're working on within your default uh, uh, domain login and at, uh, any, at this time you can basically leave the default or if you want to pick any specific one you can or you can add another DC settings if you already know. 99.99% of the times so the default setting that the Iron Speed folks have picked up really is the default choice so leave it there and once you are ready to deploy it in production this setting will be available to you in web config file to be altered so we will basically click on next system will show me all my pages I can go in and I can say guess what I only want to give access to uh, certain pages so for example if I click on invoices table pages so if I basically say all the invoice table pages are only available to uh, like for example cryptographic operators I'm just going to just change some settings and the account add page is available to some other user role we can say like for example cert publisher and everything else uh, the other three pages for account we can say are available to administrator group which is what we are looking to do so if you are familiar with how Iron Speed security works where you can go to every single page and allocate who will have permission by Active Directory group that's basically something what we are trying to do and of course we are logged in as administrator we know that so which is part of the administrators group and that's what basically we want to validate now there's one thing which you have to understand is since it's using Active Directory in, uh, authentication you need to configure IIS to enable Windows uh, authentication for that you'll go back to your application go back to authentication and make sure that Windows authentication is enabled and anonymous authentication is disabled because it's very important that Windows authentication is enabled for it to properly work now once application is all built we can run it and we can basically probably close this one and start another session just clear the cache and so on in case there were any settings somewhere so now we're going to run the application and the system is going to basically prompt me or auto login depending on how it's configured if it's going to prompt me the username and password that I need to type in cannot be your database username and password because in the past examples we have shown we were logging in with the username Akash Gupta password password but over here it will not work because system is trying to send this credentials to Active Directory and then trying to get a validation response from Active Directory so in this particular case you need to basically log in with administrator and the password for the domain for it to really log you in so by me typing in my domain username and domain password is how I'm logged in and that's basically how system is even telling me that I'm logged in as an administrator. If you remember we only gave the uh, the permissions to edit an account to administrator but we did not give them the permission to add an account. So if, you, if I edit an account the account edit page should pop up. Once again it was slow last time. I do not know yet why but at least it's consistent. Now if I basically go in and try to add, I should get a forbidden access message, which I do. So with this kind of confirms that the security is working. In addition, if I try to go back to invoice, I'm also denied because it was not given to the Active Directory group in which I have membership. So hopefully this demo 
is able to share with you how easy it is to really integrate with Active Directory just by going into the application security wizard picking Active Directory under user authentication and user authorization if you do want to use it and then uh, selecting a DC then selecting all the pages and author uh, and appropriate uh, Active Directory groups and your membership in those Active Directory groups will really decide whether you have access to those pages or not. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video and uh, keep looking for more to come. Thanks.